Today I put my laundry up because it's nice and sunny. But honestly, I have needed to do a lot of things and I haven't gotten the things I wanted to do. Yeah, I haven't gotten to the things I wanted to get done. So I've started feeling really frustrated my, with myself and started feeling self-critical. What do you guys do? Do you guys feel self-critical? Does that happen? What do you do when you feel down about yourself or self-critical like you haven't been able to do something? And how does that make you feel? Is it counterproductive? And how do you work through it? Um, it's something that I constantly have to work through. Um, I guess it's one of my issues. Uh, and I really, really, really lean on my oils and, and psychology um, around, you know, thinking about things I'm grateful for and stuff like that. Like sometimes I just have to stop and write about all the things that I'm grateful for and then that kind of lifts my mood a little bit. Um, I'm actually tried a couple motivate and cheer oils, some of the emotional blends that I'm going to talk about emotional aromatherapy and I'm going to read from my notes because that's, I can't always remember off the top of my head unless I'm actually talking to somebody and I'm having that interaction. Wish I was talking to somebody right now. <laughs> and cheer, I, I really like cheer, but it's not one I normally gravitate to. And this is where I really encourage everybody to just, when you've got your oils and especially for mood changes and mood enhancements, I found this time and time again, it really, really helps to just smell things. Even if you didn't previously like a blend or you didn't previously like a certain oil, if you're in a wonky mood, like if you're feeling off, in any way, um, especially for mood, smell all your oils. Well, maybe not all your oils, but smell until you find something that that feels right. And cheer is really doing it for me right now. So I'm going to become a personal diffuser. Woohoo! So cheer has some um, citrus oils on it and I'm in the sun. So I'm going to make sure that where I put it wasn't in the sun, so kind of like on my hairline and uh, maybe down my shirt a little bit. Woohoo! Cleavage! All right. <laughs> Not my cleavage. So I'm gonna read from my notes. So I'm gonna be talking a bit about the si some of the science behind uh, essential oils and aroma and how that affects our moods and our brains and a little bit about habits that we can use to like up level our health right and what we can put into motion right now so really what would do any of us want right we want to be happier we want to be more connected with people we want to feel like we're doing the right thing we want to feel empowered about ourselves we want to have um, take action into our own lives and be able to take actions maybe to do the right things for ourselves or for our family so let's think of ourselves as as a whole being so we're not you know when we think about our emotions it's not just this like oh moody I'm moody it's it's connected to the rest of our bodies. <clears throat> our bodies. Yeah, because we have plural. Okay, the sun's getting a little. Do I look too much like Terminator with these on? <laughs> so our mood is directly connected to our environment, our circumstances, and as well our physical health and our whole body. So our bodies are made up of obviously super intelligent cells that you know when I'm talking about intelligence just the fact that our body can repair itself 
when we get a cut um, our body wants to heal itself and wants to get better just just the mere notion that we're walking around um, these like carbon made up of carbon molecule humans is fascinating right like whoa <laughs> So we're pretty, we're pretty complex and the really cool thing about aromatherapy and about what we eat, what we put on our bodies and how much that affects us, we're, we're like these fluid creatures, right? So aromatherapy, and I'm just going to skip to this, is directly linked. Like our emotions influence so much of our body and our body influences our emotions. So it's, it's, it's linked, it's vice versa. Um, usually when our body affects our emotions and how we feel is over a longer period of time. Um, I don't know if anybody has experienced when you're in pain. Sometimes when I'm in pain, I can be cranky sometimes. I don't know if anybody else can relate to that. Um, if we have problems with digestion and we're not eating the right foods, that can actually help uh, inhibit the reuptake of serotonin and dopamine because it's created in the gut, right? That's where we get our so serotonin. If we don't exercise enough, like a machine, like my dad's cars, if I don't drive one of those old cars around enough, it actually seizes up. We're like that too, right? We sit in a desk all day and we're going to seize up and it affects our mental health and our emotional health and it affects our gut health and it affects everything, right? I'm totally going to mechanically compare this because I've been hanging out with my dad and my dad, for those of you who know him, you already know this, he's a great mechanic. Um, he's been really rebuilding old cars, uh, specifically European cars for years and he can't stop talking about them. So I'm going to compare the human body to a car, right? So currently we've got this 1983 Mercedes that my dad's been tuning up. That's pretty close to how old I am. <laughs> and if it doesn't get driven regularly, if it doesn't get oiled up, just like me, if it doesn't get the right kind of fuel and the right kind of treatment it seizes up and it can't work properly and we're just much more complex and much more intelligent um, machines <laughs> maybe I don't know are we machines not really but kind of but we need that kind of care and we need that kind of upkeep or we seize up and we don't feel good okay that's my little comparison analogy <laughs> So our intelligent cells, from what I understand, actually carry information. So this is like hormones. Our cells carry information from one part of the body to the, to the other. And it's released in the brain, carried through the brain, released in the brain, and finds receptors and talks to each other, right? Like our cells talk to each other about what's going on. So we know that stress causes disease because it's dis-ease, right? Disease. <laughs> that's, I don't even know if that's a pun, but that's kind of awful, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> so <clears throat> let's think of our body as different aspects of it that we need to take care of. And the main aspects are the brain, mental, emotional health, emotional health, the heart, and gut health, like our gut intuition response. So that those are the main three parts that talk to each other, that tell us whether eh, something's going wrong or yes, we're doing well. And our mind is like the conductor. Um, I'm gonna not compare this to a car, but if you want to, go for it. <laughs> and our heart is our discernment and our gut is our intuition and our response, right? So when the three parts of those three parts of us are working together and they feel good, that's 
when we're at our prime, we're optimum. And that's what we want to be more often. And that's where we want to tune up and tweak, right? So yeah, just like a car, I'm going to tune this up. All right. <laughs> so when the other powerful aspect of essential oils and aromatherapy is you probably have experienced, everybody's experienced this, a sense of smell triggers memories because it's directly linked to our limbic system. And our limbic system is connected to our memory, right? So when we smell something, we usually have a memory that's associated with it. We can use this to our advantage with aromatherapy where we create a different we can create a positive association with a certain smell, right? So I'll explain this a little further. So somebody's having trouble sleeping. This is just a simple common one, right? Somebody's having some trouble sleeping and you use uh, lavender and lavender has linalool, which is known to relax the central nervous system and help you, um, yeah, help you stay more relaxed so if somebody's feeling really stressed out or anxious smelling lavender you can actually feel your heart rate going down this is a chemical response that our body has to this plant medicine and there's a lot of research um, on this on definitely uh, aromatic plant research center has some great articles on lavender and what it does to us um, PubMed also and there's other research that's available that's not directly linked to any company or whatever if you're concerned about that. So chemically, that's what it does to us. It helps to relax us. That's what that chemical linalool does. So with that response, we diffuse it at night or we use a little bit of it on the bottom of our feet or we smell it before we go to bed or with doTERRA oils, you can actually put it in your water. Lavender's delicious. Um, and you might want to drink it as a tea with honey or something, which I really love. And that association done over time will then you'll start associating the smell of lavender with relaxation. So it happens even faster because your memory receptor, so it's a, it's a double whammy, right? Beautiful. So in a way, it, it helps to change our ideas and our mind around that in a very, um, we can actually help to control our, our mood in this way and uh, aspects that we might have troubles with. Okay, what are we talking about here again? The other point that I have a note here about is that essential oils are super diverse, right? So the interesting thing, let's go back to lavender. Lavender is soothing to the emotions, but <coughs> skin wise, if you get a burn from, let's say the stove or toaster, toaster oven or something like that, and you get a little mark, put some lavender on there right away. Um, as long as it's a pure lavender, make sure it's not just some, some lavender that you've got, you don't know what's actually in it. I like the doTERRA lavender, obviously. Um, I've actually experienced this where I lathered on and um, it, it works so, so, so well. Same with uh, sun, any too much sun, you put it on wherever you have a burn or you might've had too much sun and it helps to repair. Um, well, it helps the body to repair itself faster because that's what it does for the plant. So it's interesting, it's soothing to the skin bug bites as well, anti, natural antihistamine, etc. Um, but it's also soothing to the emotions. Kind of cool that way, isn't it? But the essential oils themselves have a huge diverse use for them. The other neat thing about it is essential oils, because of their power, and this is really cool, there's amazing research with frankincense essential oil and uh, on a cellular level. 
So PubMed has the best research, not again, not associated, well, there might be some articles that are associated with um, companies, but this is like university research, uh, et cetera, on PubMed. Check it out, actually. I highly recommend just, if you can handle the jargon or the, the scientific jargon, even if you can't, just try. Um, Frankincense essential oil in the search key in PubMed and a ton of beautiful articles will come up. So what we know is that frankincense can actually cross, there's these cool little cells. So our, our body has cells, right? And as a protective mechanism, much like plants, our cell has an oily barrier that helps to protect itself <clears throat> from all sorts of things. So the frankincense, if a cell isn't doing so well, the frankincense can actually go inside and help to repair it because it can actually penetrate uh, the, the cell, the cell membrane to help restore and support the cell. And they know that's what it actually does. And it actually can penetrate the blood brain barrier as well. Woohoo! <laughs> Back to doTERRA essential oils. I like using them for several, several, several reasons. Um, I just highly recommend just going to the doTERRA.com website and reading up on what they do, what kind of company they are, and the reason is is that they're high, high standards of making sure that it's a really high quality product. Um, the testing, the third party testing that they do before it gets bottled, the transparency of all that testing, the type of sourcing that doTERRA does, which is completely ethical in my point of view, and that's why I love this company, because they actually care about the farmers. They have relationship with the farmers, with small farmers, and exclusive relationships and it helps the economy in the farms. The plants are grown where they normally grow indigenously well, and so they're, they're the high, a super high quality. If I tried to grow, obviously I wouldn't be able to grow frankincense here in Canada, so that's not even an option. Or lemon, maybe you could, but you know, they'd be tiny compared to what they're gonna be like in Sicily or something. <clears throat> there are three main ways that you can use essential oils. For mood, aromatically is super, super effective. So you can smell straight out of the bottle. Oh yeah. And <laughs> you can put it on yourself and use yourself as a walking diffuser. Um, and that's also topically. You can put a few drops in your hand and make a scent tent. So you really, sometimes I like putting it right here. Although I'm in the sun, so I probably shouldn't have that there. Um, or you can put it in a diffuser. I like using all three. If you have a diffuser handy, I highly recommend that for especially at nighttime. And also if people aren't feeling really well, um, it's a, it's a great mood uplifter. It makes the house smell delicious and why not, right? And a good diffuser is beautiful and works really well and can really help um, not only the, the smell of the house, but atmospherically um, our emotions, right? Because those little aroma molecules go into it, we smell them, they go into our brain and they tell our limbic system, hey, this is a happy time and our, the rest of our body reacts chemically in a positive way. And this is another reason why you want really, really clean essential oils because there is absolute garbage out there that claims it's pure and it is not. So if you have some oils in your house, and you're not sure, look at the company, uh, see if, if they have third party testing, see if they're transparent about their testing or they're just making claims with no proof, right? So check that out. doTERRA makes claims and there is proof, right? So 
third party research, etc. <clears throat> The other way to use essential oils is topically, which is what I did even though I was using myself as a personal diffuser. And topically is really great for a localized pain area. So if we're talking about emotions, um, if you're feeling like there's like head tension and you know, you might be feeling head tension because you're stressed out or, or overwhelm or something like that using essential oils on your temples and around your head is a great way to relieve that so like peppermint essential oil is known to it's cooling and it's it helps to like if you've got head tension a lot of the times the um there's constriction so it's like it's tight so having the peppermint to cool it helps to relax uh those those muscles and the veins right so that's extremely effective. It also helps to wake up the mind because it brings oxygen into our body. <clears throat> and the third way to use essential oils is internally. Again, I only recommend doTERRA, I'm talking about only doTERRA essential oils when we're talking about taking them internally. You can of course find essential oils that you can intake internally on in the grocery store and you can find essential oils that are in our food already because they're na uses natural preservatives so you'll probably see i don't know you'll be you know if you have like flavored olive oil or the flavored um some you'll find things like if you read ingredients you'll see that there's essential oils as flavoring or as preservatives in them so but what you buy in the market, I'm only talking about doTERRA essential oils for consuming them uh, internally. This can be super effective for uh, on an emotional level. If you're feeling a lot of anxiety, I find the lavender extremely effective to help calm. Also, uh, copaiba, which is another one, and frankincense, which doTERRA's essential oils can be taken, those three can be taken internally and have been very effective for me. <laughs> personally mm -hmm. uh, okay I'm just reading I'm gonna skip through some of this stuff so gut health uh, let's talk about a little bit about gut health and how that affects our emotions because serotonin and dopamine is created in the gut it is super it can really affect our emotions over a long period of time so if we are I'm just gonna say congested um, in the gut it can have a long-term effect Keisha shush quiet <laughs> so I like to take supplements like Many of you have probably had the experience, if you're feeling low, taking a vitamin B12 is amazing and very, very effective to bring the mood up. Vitamin D and natural sunlight also works so, so well. So in the winter time, make sure you're supplementing with vitamin D because it does directly affect your mood. So again, gut health and minerals and nutrients. So I take uh, doTERRA's lifelong vitality and I have had so many different types of uh, supplements and nutrients. I've tried stuff from the drugstore, I've tried stuff from my naturopath, I've tried a gazillion different, I don't even know, probably hundreds of different types of supplements. Consistently the doTERRA lifelong vitality has been amazing for me, so it has helped uh, me have a stable energy where I don't get that slump, that midday slump, any longer since I've been taking them. There is no other supplement I have ever taken that has done that for me. So it helps with that mental energy uh, wakefulness. And it's not, what it does is um, it actually feeds the cellular, it feeds the mitochondria and um, helps to maintain that energy also where was I going with this oh yes less pain in my body 
and including menstrual pain and other joint pain, uh, back pain, etc. Way less of that since I've been taking the Lifelong Vitality. Again, no other supplement I have ever taken has been able to do that for me. And my, I do seem to be healthier. And this is a more subtle one that not everybody m might notice right away. But my nails used to chip off and now they grow really, really fast and my hair also has grown. So it, my hair had stopped growing at about right here and now it's like down here. Yeah. So the Lifelong Vitality has 74 different micronutrient, uh, my minerals that we need. There's vitamins that are all bioavailable. There are your omega fats that you need and you can choose to have the fish oils or a, there's also a vegan option. And the mitochondria brain nutrients support. So minerals, 72 trace minerals, um, feeds the brain. And then the alpha CRS is a potent antioxidant that promotes chemical cellular communication pathways. Woohoo! Fancy. <laughs> And the omega supports our three brains, right? We know that omega oil is good for our cerveau, our heart, yeah, cardiovascular, super important, and our gut. So the foundation to health is in the gut and finding, finding the right type. You know, <clears throat> with our food that we have, even if you eat super, super well, even if you eat, you know, nine cups of vegetables a day, which is what I try to do, eat as much vegetables as possible, you still might not be able to get all the micronutrients because you might not be getting that vegetable or fruit that you need or the grocery store does, just doesn't have it. It's, it's a matter of and our food quality isn't as good as it was 50 years ago, unfortunately. And it, that's super, super sad. And yeah, makes me really sad. So if you want to learn more, doTERRA has awesome, I mentioned this earlier, if you go onto doTERRA.com or Google doTERRA eBooks, uh, there's great eBooks with information. Some of them are even audio eBooks <laughs> with visuals. <laughs> it's like, reading a graphic novel but information <laughs> all right how to get your oils so you can get your oils retail through doTERRA um, but really you can also get your oils if you're gonna get you know <clears throat> more than a hundred dollars worth of oils in a year you may as well get the wholesale account because it'll pay itself off super lickety split fast but that's up to you so if you buy retail everything is full price uh, which anybody can do and if you buy wholesale uh, there is a membership cost $42 in Canada $35 in the United States different prices in different parts of the world yep doTERRA is international so just depends which country you're in check it out or ask me or google it or go onto the doTERRA site anyhow uh, so there's a wholesale membership but the smartest way to buy is to get a kit and that waves the, the year membership and gives you a kit of oils that you're gonna use the most guaranteed because I use those oils the most and they're at an even lower price. So you're saving anywhere from 35 to 55%, depending on which kit you get. And yeah, so that's definitely the best savings and I highly recommend it. So what's important is to look through what's available and find what is best for you. Maybe getting a wholesale membership in a few oils is what's best for you, but uh, the best savings are with the kits. So. Oh yes, and once you are a wholesale member, you can opt in if you choose to the loyalty reward program. And what that does is it allows you to get free products through points. And this is this is a really great way to get 
those oils that you want for free. Um, similar to, I don't know, I'm going to compare it, um, Costco, let's say, you can buy the regular member, Costco membership or the, the executive membership. So similarly, you don't pay extra or anything um, for the rewards points. You don't pay anything extra. Anyone can opt into it and you gain anywhere from 10% up to 30% off or back in product credits where you get credits for free. I've been collecting mine for about four to six months and I have over $600 worth of credits on my account. Adds up really, really fast. I can get free stuff. Woohoohoo! Yeah, so that's a great way to do it. And really, once you start to use your oils, you can just learn about your oils. There's a lot of free education uh, out there on the internet and with me and my team. And we also try to create a really great community. So online and in person, constantly having workshops and classes so that we can get together and jazz about this stuff that we're really excited about. Hence, having an awesome life and feeling really good about ourselves, right? I'm already in a better mood. Maybe it's talking to this screen and pretending like I'm talking to some beautiful people, <laughs> which I really hope this does get to. <laughs> So you can just use your oils, learn about your oils, be part of the community. If you want, doTERRA has an awesome um, <clears throat> financial reward. So if you share your oils with people and you know, a few people want the oils, you get compensated for sharing the oils. So there's a commission for doing that. And you can do this casually or you can take it seriously and actually go full on and do it as a business. So you can do whatever you want. It's really up to you the amount of time you put into it or has as casual and fun as you want to make it. Yeah. So let me know what your questions are. Post them below and contact me if you want on my website as well. SophiaFerrari.org. Ciao. Over and out.